Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a review on a older doll that's in my collection. Um, this one is from quite a few years back and of course it's featuring my favorite character, Ariel from Disney's The Little Mermaid. So stay tuned as we take a look at this incredibly awesome collector doll and I definitely want to know what you guys think. All right, so this doll did release at the Disney Store, uh, special edition, of course, back in 2007, um, alongside a DVD that you could purchase at the same time. Um, so my doll, uh, I am not the first owner. I did buy this secondhand, so the box has some damages to it. All in all, not too bad. I just had to tape a few places together here, but we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look. So it is made to look like a seashell, which I absolutely love. You can see there's, you know, like right there are some damages. <laughs> But we do have Disney's A Little Mermaid Special Edition, the clamshell here holding Ariel itself. And then um, you can see here how the box works. So it actually like slides down in. Um, it's really kind of cool here. If you do want to pause and read it here, you certainly can. So we have Disney Princess, part of your world. And then you can just kind of pause and read as I scroll down here. She was $99.50 back then. So this is back before they did um, the limited edition dolls. Uh, so, you know, a little on the pricey side, but nonetheless, really, really cool. Um, now, you do have to be careful. Like I said, but I'll show you on the top. It's tied to keep the box shut. So what I'm going to do now, since mine is deboxed, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open her up and then we'll take a look at the details. OK, so I do have Ariel out now and you can see the inner box is really, really nice. It's just a really cool underwater scene. And then, of course, we've got Ariel here looking extremely amazing. Um, normally, I don't go for like the super, super like <laughs> way off the deep end look, but for Ariel, you know, I always kind of toss that rule out <laughs> because it's Ariel. Um, so we're gonna take a look at her stand first. I'm gonna take her off the stand here just one second. It's a very unique stand and you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. Um, probably one of the most unique stands I have actually seen. Uh, let's see if I can get it off here. There we go. Going to lay Ariel down. The stand is this really cool, just a, it's like a plastic uh, resin type material. Pretty lightweight, it's hollow. We've got some gorgeous shells here. And then of course there's some glitter. And then this is the portion that holds her uh, legs. So the legs go kind of like this where they kind of go on the front of this portion of it behind this portion and then on top of this is where the the arched feet kind of rest so it does as you can see it supports her very very well i was when i first saw this i was like whoa that's quite the uh quite the stand there <laughs> now here is ariel she is a um a 11 inch doll roughly uh she is very very well designed um, if I remember correctly, the gal who designed her also did do um, some of the limited edition dolls for Disney as well. So, of course, we're going to get some really high quality dolls. And, of course, you know, if there's someone who has designed something like this is obviously going to do a really good job on other uh, um, projects for Disney as well. So here is Ariel's face mold. Very well done. Of course, we have the side soup Disney actually you know is on the right side like it's supposed to be um, <laughs> no. from dolls later on did not quite get the same treatment with the hair but it is what it is uh, it's a beautiful red well rooted and then mine unfortunately like I said it didn't I did get it second hand and the person who shipped her didn't take a whole lot of care in packaging her so the hair is a little messy um, but there is some product in there, of course, just to keep the curls in play. But you can see there's quite a bit of hair looking absolutely wonderful here. I do love that quite a bit. I love the stylized hair on her. But you can see like right here, see all those flyaways? <laughs> it's because I got jostled around when she got shipped. I've had her for a little over a year now. Um, but, uh, I've just, I've not gotten to fix it cause I'm not really sure how to, but in her hair, she does have this really beautiful shell piece here with some gems and then some, uh, pearl sprays. They are, uh, kind of tied down into the hair. I do believe, or maybe this one's just stuck. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to mess her hair up further. So I've kind of left it alone. Um, and then coming down, you can see she has this beautiful outfit. Uh, now, like I said, I have not really taken her outfit off or apart to see how many pieces it is. It appears to be one big Velcro 
well, I guess there's Velcro and then some snap buttons there. But this, of course, is just sheer overlay. On this sheer overlay, you can see we have some sequins and some pearl beading. This is what her shells are attached to. She has a really fun pearl drop going on there. Some more sequins. Off the back of this outfit is a gorgeous, see everything's stuck on these sequins. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous multi-layer seaweed kelp, like, um, um, jellyfish tentacle almost look cape that is just beautiful. Now mine does have a little bit of a snag there at the bottom, probably where she was tied into the box or something, but nonetheless, it is still very, very beautiful. Coming down to her tail, we have her signature fin there, along with a little pink fabric flower, more sprays of pearls, and then we have more sequins, embroidery, tons and tons of beadwork to the point where even at the base of the tail we have these beaded loops that are those glass tube beads looking fantastic and then her tail fin is extraordinary i just it's got the multiple layers of fabric that kind of just give a little tiny hint of some shimmer to them um and then this one has some gold uh fabric or excuse me threading kind of run through it and then we do have you can see here we do have some gems scattered in the tail itself consisting of both goldish green and clear so a beautiful 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 uh design here i just i love all the details all the pearls all the embroidery really 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 nicely done and then of course she does have a feet her <laughs> little, little human feet you can see there's the old disney princess tag made in china of course um points of articulation of course she has the i believe they're bend and snap yeah bend and snap knees and then um no articulation at the elbow but you can move her arms forwards and backwards and of course at the head as well now she does have this really cool um you gotta see everything gets stuck in this side swoop right here uh, she does have this really cool scepter, which currently is stuck in her hair because it is what it is. But the scepter um, actually has an on off button and I don't think mine works anymore, but it is supposed to light up um, from what I can tell back when I got her. I don't think it worked. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I think it worked for like five minutes back when I got her and then it didn't work anymore, but it has this beautiful seahorse. And then some pearl work, some a dangle, a couple of dangle bits there, and then just this really neat uh, kind of like ocean wave look to it almost. So a really really nice accessory to add to this special edition gorgeous aerial doll. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to do it for my review of this beautiful special edition aerial doll from the Disney store that released more years ago than I'd like to count because oh my <laughs> but anyhow I do hope you enjoyed if you have this doll in your collection let me know what you think if you don't um it, she's definitely worth adding if you're an aerial lover oh my goodness I absolutely adore this doll and so glad that she is in my collection I've had her for about a year now and uh, I just mm, she's beautiful so anyhow guys hope everyone enjoyed if you have any questions about her any other item leave those in the comment section down below I will of course get back to you as soon as I possibly can otherwise stay tuned um, make sure to hit that subscription button if you haven't already, as well as a notification bell. All right, everyone. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.